everyone. Um, it's currently quarter to seven in the morning and it's a very exciting day, I'm very excited. Today I'm getting my LPG gas system fit in the van. So obviously this is possible to do yourself, however, however you choose to do it, you need to get it signed off by someone who is gas certified. So I figured if I'm going to be paying someone to certify it, I might as well pay them to install it as well. Um, it just save me the hassle. So yeah, I'm getting I'm getting an underslung LPG tank, so it'll sit underneath my van, um, and it will have a fill point, so um, I can easily just fill it up in places like petrol stations and things. Um, it's only going to be wired into two places. It's going to be wired into my shower unit, so the, the my little hot water unit at the uh, back of the van, so I can have hot showers. And then it's also going to wire into my gas hob, um, and then that's that's it. Now I've had a bit of a result as well because um, for ages the only person I could find, um, the only company I could find that did the underslung LPG tank that I want was about a three hour drive away. They were charging about 1400 quid. And when I was inquiring in July, I think it was, they said the earliest slots available they had were sort of mid to late September. Which wasn't ideal in any way. So. Um, I messaged people on Instagram, some people gave me some real nice um, suggestions of some sort of um, solo guys, but I couldn't quite find anyone to do it. And then I came across this company in Ringwood, which is just over an hour away, who said they could do it for half the price that this other company quoted me, and they had availability over a month sooner. So I'm on the way there now. As I said, once it's finished, uh, I'll do a little a little tour of how it's sat in, in the van. Cool. Where am I going then? Am I in a bus lane? Alright then, just down here apparently. This doesn't look right. Found it. We're here. It's done. Let me show you. So before I show you, the one thing I forgot to mention the other morning was why I chose LPG. Obviously, you know, you could choose to have sort of a disposable gas bottle in your in your van. Um, there's a couple of other, th other solutions, but any gas tank that you have in the van, you have to install like a dropout vent, so it's ventilated. So I figured having the tank underslung means it's constantly ventilated anyway, and also it saves loads and loads of space. And now although the LPG inst installation is a bit more expensive up front, it's so much more cost effective filling it up. Um, I'm not sure what the um, price of gas is at the moment, but I think it's floating around like a quid a litre at the moment. Let me show you what they've done. I'm going to have to crawl under the van, and it's just been raining, unfortunately. Right. Here is the underslung tank so you can see it sort of it splits off in two ways one end goes to my shower unit and the other goes to my gas hob but this is the thing just sort of sits nicely under the van out of the way can't see it really impressed with it and it doesn't go anywhere near my um, diesel heater and stuff So what he's also done is fitted a refill point here. So according to the guy, when you're filling up in the UK, the nozzles go around this metal bit and they'll fit into these little bits that jet out the side, a bit like a light bulb. But then in Europe, they'll actually screw in on the inside. So this is good for filling up in the UK and also in uh, abroad. Let me show you how he's hooked it up on the inside. So you can see here for my shower unit, he's just come up straight through the floor. I've got an on and off valve and it goes straight up into the bottom of my shower unit. Obviously if I want to pull out my shower unit, because obviously it unhooks off the wall, um, I've got the sort of gas extension cable that I can use. And for my hob, he's come up again through the floor, up through the bottom of my cabinet, 
and just stuck to the back of the wall there and he's just gone straight up into my hob and again I've got another ball valve there that I can turn off and then in terms of the power it's come up through the floor there um, and then I've got this little monitor which I'm going to mount when I do my cladding it's literally just got an on and off button um, and then a little sort of gas level level so I can tell you know how much gas is left and that's literally it so so impressive what they've done super happy with it a couple of little bits of advice that he gave me um, when he was talking me through everything he said when you're first filling it up to only fill up the tank halfway obviously it's really really cold inside so quite often sort of ice particles will form over the sort of little coils on the inside so if you fill it up all the way quite often you'll get a very inaccurate reading on the uh, on the gas meter so if you fill it up halfway give that ice sort of a chance to sort of dislodge itself it'll be a lot accurate moving forward and the other thing he said about was going to Europe um, or going abroad he said quite often when you get on ferries they'll ask you to make sure your gas supply is turned off um, and so rather than going underneath the van and turning it off there he suggested the best thing to do is just to turn it off inside the van leave one of the hobs on just so the, to get the gas out of the pipes um, and then the, only, the way they test that your gas is turned off is they'll come over and just hold a light to your hob so as long as there's no gas coming out of there that you're fine to go if you forget to do that and they turn on your hob and they see that there's gas coming out they'll ask you to go underneath the van and turn it off at the actual tank which is a bit annoying um, but yeah that's uh, that's it really um, sorry that I didn't have more of like a how-to video but like I said I'm I think I've really made the right decision actually paying someone to do it I'm very happy with it hello I'm back again um, I couldn't let this video end I thought I needed to give it a little bit more so what I'm doing now is um, I'm driving to my nearest petrol station that apparently has LPG gas for sale I'm for some reason I'm stupidly nervous about it. I think it's just because it's the first time I've done it and I don't like looking like I don't know what I'm doing, you know what I mean? Before I left I didn't even know what an LPG station fill up point looked like. So I, <laughs> I was Google imaging things like mad trying to you know trying to work out what to do. I had to do a little bit of Googling as well to try and find out where the closest petrol station was. It's in a town about 15 me uh, about a 15 minute drive away. So hopefully hopefully they've got it. But yeah, I'm driving there now, and then I will try and just film the process of filling up for people that are wondering, really. I'm also going to have to do it on the slide, because I don't like people watching me film either. <laughs> so, bear with me on this one. Uh, see you when we get there. Here it is. However, my thing's on the other side, and there's a guy parked here. Uh, it doesn't quite stretch around. Um... So I'm about to go under the van. I politely asked the man in the shop and he knew whose car it is, so he's going to move it for me. So hopefully I should be able to reach around now. If not, I might have to feed it under the van. <laughs> good fun. Good fun, good fun, good fun. Right, car's moved, but um, I'm going to have to go underneath the van. Good fun. There you go, it's connected like that. So you unhook that. Turn it. You see it's got these valves on the top. Right, so it's clipped on, and now you literally just hold this button to fill, and I'm only gonna do halfway. So I do like 10 quid. Ten liters of you. There we go, 10 litres, just under 10 quid. Right then, so back home now. So this is my little thingy. You literally just hit this and you should be able to hear it turn on. Whee. And then you can see there, look, it's half filled up. Um, so that's good. Don't know what the weather's doing today, it's just started raining again. It rains for like 30 seconds and stops. Um, and then just to test, I won't leave it on for very long, but if I turn my knob on my hob, there's gas coming out. So cool, yeah. As much as I didn't install it myself, I hope that the video sort of gave you a bit of an insight into how it's installed, how to fill it up, how it works. Um, 
And yeah, the last thing I just need to do is I'm gonna mount that little unit up on this little control panel here. I'm gonna have everything up here. So yeah, uh, give us a thumbs up if you like the video, subscribe if you wanna see more and see you soon.